Okay, ready? A little more. Good morning, everyone. Wanted to take a moment to show you guys the turkey tractor that we built. We'll go over some of the details about its construction. So if you're interested to see how we put this together, follow along. So we wanted to have a nice, secure location to be able to keep our turkeys and still be able to have the option to be able to move them around on our property so they have fresh areas of the pasture to be in. The way that we ended up constructing this was we used pressure treated lumber for all of the frame. The hoop is made from cattle panels. They ended up using three cattle panels for the construction of this. They're all 50 inches tall by 16 feet. The 16 feet gave us a nice hoop here that I can just about stand up in, in the middle. Okay, the whole turkey run area is covered in chicken wire. I went through and hand tied all the chicken wire to it so it makes it nice and sturdy. Give you guys some details of how I tied this stuff together. The coop area here, this is all roofing tin. These were three feet by 10 feet long. I was able to go through and cut those in half. So I have a five foot section here of roofing material. We were able to go through and make the dome to the coop area, the front and back walls. And I think I ended up using, I think it was six sheets, 10 feet long. During the construction of this, I built the bottom frame using two by fours, pressure treated two by fours, 12 feet long by eight feet wide. I used three cattle panel sections and the center section I ended up trimming. I'll show you here. On the bottom of the cattle panels, they have these or closer spacing. So I was able to go through and trim part of it off for the center one. And when I put them all together, it worked out perfect fitting just inside of my frame here. To attach the cattle panels to the wooden frame, I'll show you here. I ended up just using these. These are just fencing staples, like when you're putting together a field fence. And I'll show you. I just use those to attach the panels to the wooden frame. Any of the sections where the chicken wire is up against a wood frame, I went through and I used a staple gun, a pneumatic staple gun to be able to go through and staple them all in place. To join the cattle panels together, I ended up using my flux core welder and I just ended up welding each of these joints together. Here's a picture of where I was welding them together. So during the construction of the coop area, I ended up taking a piece of cardboard and I made a template so I was able to go and make a template on how to work around all of the different pieces here so I can get a tighter fit for this front wall on the inside of the coop area. I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. So I built the coop area elevated to give the birds an area underneath to be able to go during bad weather. Give you a little shot here of some of the cross bracing and kind of how I put this thing together. Here's a view of the inside of the wheel brackets. I ended up going through and taking some angle iron and made these brackets to attach the wheels to. Okay, we'll show you a little detail here of how these wheel assemblies work. So I just used angle iron. I ended up welding a bolt to the end of it. I got some one by one uh, box tubing. Went through and took a piece of pipe, welded it on the end. Basically made my lever arms here. I attached another bolt to use as the axle for the wheels. And then this allows me to go take the bar Push it down, it'll lift the coop up. 
I've got some stainless uh, gate latch pins here that this thing will go through and index into the end of the tube here that holds it in the locked down position so the coop is raised up and then we can go ahead and move it to the new location. So here's an example of the coop moving process. We just lower each of the wheels to raise the coop up then I use a dolly to move the front. We just lower the wheels back down to set the coop in place and it works out pretty good. Okay, on the outside of the coop, I ended up making the door high enough to be able to put a wheelbarrow underneath it. I'll show you a little bit of that in a little time lapse here in a second. Show you some of the details of the construction of the door. Just a barrel latch. For the hinges, I ended up just using your door hinges that you can go get at your hardware store. I think I got these actually at Walmart. They'll come in a three pack, they're pretty affordable and they work out great for little projects like this. Okay, we'll show you the inside of the coop area here. So attach all the roofing material to the coop. I ended up using furring strips that you can see I made some framework or whatever, I attached the furring strips to the two by fours and then I'm able to go through and use roofing screws to go through the roofing material down into the furring strips to help to hold the material in place. This is Trixie. Ugh. Thanks, Trixie. Okay, Trixie is bound and determined to try to get out right now, so I'm gonna try to show you the inside of the coop here real quick. I actually made a door that can be closed if I need to secure them inside. We have some really, really bad weather. Whoop. Show you the other side here. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this will give you some ideas if you're curious on how to put one of these tricky tractors together. This is just how I did it. Hopefully this will give you some ideas. Have a great day and thanks for watching.